Shalom, Israel, Shalom. You know, um, wanted to come out to do, do get get my um, outdoor lesson there in camp. Uh, before I get started, I want to say all praise is due to the Most High Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Kahapadash. Double honor to the apostles at Great Millstone of Rule Well, teaching this honesty with truth and sincerity. Hopeful elect, scattered abroad, unlike it to a special word. Temple of King David, Tabernacle of King David, Shalom to the brothers and sisters out there, Shalom. My name is Shapa. I'm a Hebrew Israelite, not a black Hebrew Israelite. I'm a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Gad. From the tribe of Gad. I come out here today and every Saturday to prophesize the downfall of Babylon, Idumia, America, the Edomites. <laughs> and, and in these times, it's getting real tough. It's getting tough where, it's getting, it, it's getting where, you know, they making a move. You know, you, you can't, you can't say that, that they not making a move, right? And so before, I, you know, I had, had my, I got my lesson rolled out like I normally do. But before I, um, I, I start, with, I want to go with, to one verse first. I want to go, go somewhere first. Hold on. Light. Got to raise up this light. Brightness first. There you go. Right? So before we get started with the lesson, I want to go to Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, right? We're going to go to, um, we're going to start off here. We're going to read um, the Book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 1, and then we're going to go down to 15, right? Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse, verse 1. And if, and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth, right? So so that 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 that's what if we doing right, we was going we getting set up on high, right? So come on, let's go down. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 15, right? But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee, right? So that right there, it already lets you know that we going to be cursed. We going to be cursed. We going to be cursed in the city. We going to be cursed. We going to be cursed. Well, well let, let's see. Let's read on. It says, cursed thou shalt thou be in the city and cursed thou shalt thou be in the field, right? So we going to be cursed, right? So the reason why I wanted to start off with that is because people say they believe in the scriptures. They believe in the Bible. But if you believe in the Bible, you got to believe in all of them. You can't pick and choose what parts you want to believe in. So if that's the case, then you got to realize that we we under the curses right now. Yeah, they starting to loosen up, but we still under the curses, man. And so that made, I, I started with that one because it, it made me think about the things that's going on within our nation, within the nation of Israel, the 12 tribes that make up Judah, Negroes, Benjamin, West Indians, Levite, um, Haitians, Seminole, Dominicans, Zebulon, Guatemala, the Panamanian, Ephraim, Puerto Rican, Manhattan, Cuban, Gad, North American Indian, Ruben, Seminole Indians, the Fali, the uh, Argentine, the uh, Chileans, Asher, Colombians to Uruguayans and Issachar, last but not least, the Mexicans, right? 
that's the that's the nation. That's the um the nation of Israel. Them the twelve tribes. So we gotta understand that we under these curses, man. And, and I don't think we get it. So so let's go let's go let's continue with the show now, right? We gonna go to palms. We gonna start out with palms. This is a book of Psalms, 147, verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh. See, so we were showed the, um, the, the laws. In Deuteronomy, we was told that if we didn't hearken to the laws, we was going to be cursed. And then right here, it says, showed, you know, in Palms, it tells us how we were special. He had really dealt with no other nation, and we were showed the laws, statutes, and commandments, right? So let's, let's continue, right? So that led me to, to this, this, this one. I normally come out here and I hardly, rarely ever get on women. I hardly ever get on women, the sisters, or whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? Because I'm going to be honest, I ain't really concerned with them because I know they was, they was off track before I even found the scriptures. Where I could go in the scriptures and show you where you off track, right? According to the scriptures, right? So I already knew the sisters was off track. They, they elevated above men. And they love it here. You know that whole black girl magic shit and all that. They, they love that, right? And so I get to that because this week alone, I had maybe four or five conversations, whether in the supermarket, on the phone with um, a sister working for a company or something like that, or, or, or something like that. Maybe four or five conversations. They got no respect for us. They just got no respect for us, and they'll be dead wrong, or they'll be disrespectful. And they don't care, because they don't got no respect for us. That black girl magic shit, right? And so, my thinking is, that black girl magic shit goes directly against the scriptures. Just the thinking, just having that, that little energy of you black girl magic. Watch, let's go to the scripture. Prove all things, he says, right? Okay, yeah. So this is the book of Galatians 5. And let's go 18, 5 and 18. Book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 18. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lavishness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, and heresy. Witchcraft, right? And so that get me to the to the whole black girl magic shit. And and I uh here's a scenario. So I got a I bought an HVAC, brand new HVAC, pay cash, 2018, right? I'ma say June 2018. The first time it comes out, and the reason I went with this company, because it's a so-called black company that just so happens to be owned by a woman, right? So I go with this company, and they put my, my system in, but they didn't change the um the actual circuit box that goes to the, not my circuit box in my house, circuit box that go to the new AC unit, right? So now this house built in 1979 or whatever, it's remodeled, but Still, it got the um, 
the circuit board, you don't know how long the circuit board, how old the circuit board is. So they don't change the circuit board, they, they leave that circuit board in. Of course it led to problems. So anytime that first winter come, as soon as it get cold, 30, below 30 degrees, the system start acting out, right? That's the first year. Second year, I get $400 light bills starting in December last year, going all the way up to March, $550 light bill, right? They come out, we do the tap dance or whatever. They give me a little bit of money back. My light bill is normally $120, $125. They gave me credit for anything over $250, like they doing me a, a, a favor, right? So they put in a rusty box, the old box. Instead of putting in a new box, they put in an old box, right? Because she tried to tell me you didn't want a new box. I'm paying $2,000 worth of light bills. So, but anyway, so we get to this year, the same situation. And talking to the sister, she is still trying to trying to make it where she's right. And hitting me with that old, that church, we gonna take care of you and all this and all that. And it just, it's just so frustrating because women don't have no respect for the men. They don't got no respect for us. They don't respect us at all. They don't, they don't think that, they don't, they don't see it's a problem that they, and going back to the curses, they, they feeding in, they helping Esau out right now. With that energy, with that, with that, um, black women save the world by voting for Joe Biden shit and all that, they, they helping, the, they helping, um, Babylon stay afloat right now. They like one of the main tools that he using right now against whether it's against us or it's against it's one of the main tools because let's go to Genesis cause cause y'all forget what y'all what y'all y'all purpose is y'all purpose wasn't to usurp the man authority that that wasn't y'all purpose what was y'all what was y'all here for what, what was y'all purpose? Trying to see which one I want to go to. think it might be that's the one where she that's in the garden we don't want to get to that one yet <laughs> we don't want to get to that one yet okay here you go it's the book of Genesis chapter 2 and 18 and the Lord Yahweh said it is not good that the man should be alone I will make him a help me for him you hear that let's go one more time this is the book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 18. This is what y'all was created for. And the Lord Yahweh said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a help to meet for him. A help. Y'all, black girl magic ain't helping black men. It's not helping black men. It's not helping black men. And then you'll go, oh man, this let me tell you what happens when a woman in the dark. Let's let's go, let's go to the book of numbers. Book of numbers 12 and 1. We gonna start at Let's start at 3. Book of Numbers 12 and 3. Now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses and unto Aaron and to, unto Miriam. Miriam is Moses' sister. So you know she was, if you want to say she was high up in the faith, a woman, a sister that should be respected in the faith, right? Okay, so we understand, right? 
come, come out ye three unto the tabernacle of the congregation, and they, and they three came out, right? So this is the most high coming down to speak to them, right? Living day to day. And the Lord came down in a pillar of the cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Mary. And they both came forth. And he said, hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, Yahweh, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in all my house. Pretty much Moses is my God, man. Moses is my God. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently and not in dark speeches and in similitudes of the Lord shall he behold. Wherefore then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses, right? Cause Moses married a woman that wasn't from the tribes. I think she was um, Ethiopian, if I'm not mistaken. He married an Ethiopian chick and Aaron and Miriam was talking junk about it, right? Talk trash, talk to Moses, right? And the anger of Yahweh was kindled against them and he departed. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle and behold, Miriam became lup luprous, white as snow, and Aaron looked upon Miriam and behold, she was luprous. So just for running her mouth against Moses, she was turned luprous, white. No pigment in her skin for seven days, right? And so, so you go, you go, that right there is a clear example of, yo, you can't be running your mouth. And sisters will run their mouth like a motherfucker, and then you challenge them, or you put them in check, and you wrong. I'm in the store, I got my head wrapped, I got on a sweatshirt with fringes or whatever. I got my head wrapped or whatever. And a sister that done seen me 10, 12, 30 times gonna come up and gonna call me man. I mean, yeah, from the man. I'm standing, she gonna come up man. Then once she see I turn around, she don't say, oh, apologies, oh, my, my mistake, my this, my that. She don't even care. She don't even care. And I'm like, I'm like, you guys just don't respect us at all. Don't respect us at all. Y'all don't got no respect for us, man. Y'all don't got no respect for us. So we gonna continue. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31 and 22. How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall come past a man. And that's because we under the curses. Because we don't spoke to, we, we just read where it, it, y'all supposed to be a help to us. So y'all come passing us and y'all overtaking us is part of the curses. It's not nothing beneficial. And so to tie it back into where y'all helping, y'all helping keep us down with that energy that y'all carrying on. That pride, that unwillingness to even submit to a good man. You can have a good man and still don't want to submit. You have all of the sisters, y'all will get together, y'all will come up with the scenario where in y'all head, everything that y'all ever did in the relationships is wrong, because all men is dull, we all ain't shit, and y'all always right. And y'all are bugging out with that, man. Y'all are bugging out. So y'all will take that same energy, and y'all will take that shit outside and run into a man, and use that same energy that y'all use when y'all running y'all mouth to each other, on a man that you don't know nothing about. 
Like how you know a man don't deserve no respect? Just by looking at him? We gonna read a couple more, then I'ma get off this. I just wanted to get on, cause, cause it's ridiculous, man. It is ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous, man. I applied, I, I started looking at my life and looking at the scriptures and I'm like, that's why it's a shit out of whack, man. Because people is not living according to the scriptures. People doing what they want to do and justify it. Wrong as hell, Joe. This is a book of Ecclesiastes, Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, 26 to 22. Police came and sat over there and watched me for a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm, um, uh, um, they had the, the, the incident with the black Hebrew Israelite. But we are not black. Nobody is black, period. My phone is, but this is black. Nobody is black. That's first off. And so they come out with that black Hebrew Israelite crap. We're not black. We come in all shapes and colors and sizes, man. We are not black. We are the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Not the ones in uh, Revelation 2 and 9, Revelation 3 and 9. Not the fakers. We are the true ones. And we are like the speckled bird. So calling us black is just trying to put that negative annotation on us and all that shit. But anyway, you got the guy where he just run up into people's house or whatever, trying to cut him with a machete. What you gonna get out of that? What would you get out of that as far as salvation for your peoples? You ain't gonna get nothing out of that. So I don't know how they trying to tie, just cause he got a long beard, they trying to tie him into the Israelites or whatever the case may be. He could have been some homeless dude that just went crazy. Or maybe they did something to him. But they gonna try to demonize us. And now I, I, I would expect that every now and then when they see me, they gonna stop and look. Gotta be, gotta be spiritual out here. This is not a carnal battle. This is not a carnal battle, right? Ecclesiasticus, Sirach, also known as Sirach, 26 and 22. Woman 